So what's so wrong with using a kit lens? And why does it seem like so many pro photographers tend to knock on these lenses whenever they get the chance? We're talking about that today, stay tuned. First, let's talk about what a kit lens is. It's called a kit lens because it's typically the lens that comes with the camera if you choose to purchase the camera with the lens. Most of the time it's going to be a zoom lens and it's typically going to be less expensive than its pro counterpart. Nearly every camera brand has its own version of kit lenses. I currently shoot with Fujifilm cameras and so I'm using the 18 to 55 lens. I've also used the 24 to 105 with the Canon as well. Now what makes these lenses so bad? And you kind of want to use finger quotes around bad because these reasons are not necessarily bad. They don't make the lens bad. Otherwise no one would use them and they would never sell. But the biggest thing that people tend to not like about these types of lenses is that they have variable apertures. Now, this means that the widest aperture that you can have is dependent on the focal length of the lens. So with my 18 to 55 lens on my Fujifilm, for example, at 18 millimeters, I can open this lens up to f2.8. But if I zoom out to 55 millimeters, that widest aperture goes down to f4. So that's one of the drawbacks to a kit lens. Another possible drawback to these lenses is that the build quality may be a little bit inferior to the pro line of lenses. Maybe the materials are different, such as plastic versus metal, and it's possible that the kit lenses are not weather sealed. And lastly, of course, uh, one of the things that we're all concerned about is image quality. Now that of course is all up for debate. But with a variable aperture lens, you're probably not going to be able to blur your background as much as you would with a prime lens, which is one of the reasons that some people tend to prefer prime lenses because they can blur the background with a much wider aperture. And sharpness with these lenses may be a concern depending on the lens and depending on who you talk to and which uh, website you're reading. So then what's a pro lens, you may be asking? What is kind of the difference and how would I uh, classify a pro lens versus a kit lens. Well, a pro lens typically is going to be a prime lens, meaning it has a fixed focal length. So it's just one solid piece of glass. You know, it's not going to have a lot of moving parts with a zoom or it's a zoom lens that has a fixed aperture, which means that let's say a 70 to 200 has F 2.8 throughout the entire range of focal lengths. Pro lenses also tend to have wider apertures f 2.8 or wider is very common for these lenses, but there are exceptions to that rule. And the build quality is usually going to be better as well. And they're probably going to be weather sealed. Now, with all of that said, there are some kind of drawbacks to all of those good things. And the first one is that these lenses are going to be more expensive. And it's just kind of a given, you know, they're professional line of lenses, better materials, better quality, better glass. Everything about it is, is a little bit better in terms of the actual build quality of the lens. So that's going to boost the price up a little bit. And another thing to consider about these lenses is that they are usually a lot heavier. Now that may not be an issue for some people, but for me personally, I intentionally switched to the Fujifilm mirrorless cameras because I wanted to start working with lighter, smaller camera gear. So for me, having a smaller lens actually is a benefit over a potential pro lens that is a little bit heavier than that smaller, lighter kit lens. So when might you want to use a kit lens instead of a pro lens? Let's go ahead and talk about that. First, if blurring your background really is not that important, then you're probably going to be okay with using a kit lens. Maybe you photograph landscapes or you want to photograph textures or, or a flat type of an image where you don't need to drop that background out with a really wide aperture. A kit lens is going to work just fine for that because you don't have to worry about that bokeh that the quality of whatever the background is going to look like. Or maybe you are in an environment where you have a lot of available light. So you don't have to rely 
on a very, very wide aperture in order to get the look you want. Again, with landscape photography, this is going to work. And also with studio photography, I used to do a lot of stock photography and I was able to control the light in whatever way, whether it was natural light or with strobes. So a lens that had a really wide aperture was not really a requirement for what I was photographing. Another reason, maybe if you use a tripod, maybe you are adding blur to your scene, then a kit lens is gonna work just fine for that. You're probably going to have a smaller aperture anyways with a longer shutter speed, so you don't need to worry about boosting the ISO in order to compensate for, let's say, handheld photography. Or maybe you just want a small lens to use for casual photography, but something with a little bit of versatility like you would have with a zoom kit lens. I really like using my 18 to 55 Fujifilm lens when I travel because it's so small and it's so light and just so easy to walk around with. And it's also fairly inconspicuous. It's not this really big bulky lens. Uh, so it's, it's just easier to wander around and not really have uh, a lot of attention on me because I have big bulky lenses uh, with my little camera. Now let's talk about when you may want to use a pro lens instead of a kit lens. The first is going to be when you have low light situations. I was just traveling in Southeast Asia and I got up early in the mornings and a lot of the time I was relying on street light or artificial lights to illuminate my photographs. I used lenses that had very wide apertures. They were fixed focal lengths. I used my 23 and my 56 millimeter Fujifilm lenses quite often in these situations because there is just not enough light to sustain an image with my kit lens. If I used the kit lens, I would probably have to crank the ISO way up. And even then, depending on the situation, I may not even be able to get the photograph that I want. So if you photograph weddings or events where you do have low light situations, you'll probably want a lens that has a very wide aperture in order to actually create these moments. Otherwise, you may not even be able to get the photographs that you wanted. Another good reason to use a pro or a prime lens with a wide aperture over a kit lens is when you want to blur that background. Most people tend to prefer pro or prime lenses when they photograph portraits because it allows you to really drop the background out and separate the person from their environment. With photography, every choice you make is a compromise. Whether you choose a wide lens versus a telephoto lens or a really fast lens that has a wide aperture versus a variable aperture lens where you're going to have to sacrifice a little bit of that shallow depth of field. Just ultimately, pro lenses are not the right choice for every single thing. You can get by perfectly fine using a kit lens. Ultimately, the gear that you decide to use is completely up to you, your personal style, and what your priorities are. I personally love using my kit lens. I get some great photographs with it, and that's all that matters. <laughs>